Well, here it is. Here's the skid loader we picked up this weekend. Um, I'm gonna give you all a rundown on it, tell you everything about it. First, I'm gonna give it a bath though. Gotta get the tractor out of here. Um, it really needs a bath, I ain't had one in a while. So I'm gonna get the pressure washer out, get this thing washed, and then pull it back up here, and I'll tell you about it. As you just saw, I uh, just gave this thing a bath. So I don't like starting stuff when it's wet because I don't, I don't know, I just don't like getting water and stuff. So I pressure washed it and got really dirty. So I went inside, cleaned up, let it dry, started up and uh, brought it back up here. So this is a New Holland L553. It's a diesel like most skid loaders. Um, here's the rims on, it's got these two rims on this side and then two different rims on this side so i think it's out front yeah it's out front we have another spare rim which is like the other two this tire is pretty good that one's decent this one's decent and this one's i mean they don't need a new tire sometime but for the most part they're all good for now at least for a little while um so Oh, uh, what else? So this has a Dutes engine in it. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I don't know that much about this thing. I did a lot of research on them, looked at them. Um, I think this compartment up here opens. Radiator's kind of hot though, and the engine's hot. So there's the compartment in there. So basically, um, if I can get this thing to shut. Okay, well, I'll deal with that in a minute. Um, has weights back here. It's got three on each side. Not sure how much they weigh. I can't read it off of them. So, got this from a guy named Kirk Wagner. Um, I'm sure he's gonna watch this video. Um, so basically, um, one of our friends bought corn crib there. We we're taking it down. I asked him if he wanted to sell this. He said he did. They have a dairy farm, or they, I mean, they still have it. They used to, they don't milk anymore though. They quit milking in 2017. So this was their um, scraping skid loader. They had the tire scraper on the front and that was what they scraped the barns out with every day. So he says that um, they used this about an hour or two every day, just scraping the barns. Um, did that for years and then pushed it out with it. So from my understanding, I think he said that from 2017 to now, only thing he's used it for is pushing snow in the winter time with it, with that scraper. He has no skid loader that's bigger than this one. So he said he didn't need this one anymore. Um, so we went and picked it up this weekend. It, the meter is saying that it has about right at 8,000 hours. Um, he said they had the whole engine completely rebuilt at five. So, I mean, it kind of only has 3,000 hours on it, which is pretty good. Um, missed a spot there. But uh, I was just focused on getting all the poop and everything off of it. Um, it's been sitting in a shed, so that's good. That helped the life of it out a lot, sitting in the building. Um, just the poop, I, I mean, using it every day. You don't want pressure washer just to keep getting it dirty. But, uh, so we got, gave it a bath. I guess that's the side they went up against the curbs with. The rims are a little banged up, but all tires hold air. We aired them up yesterday. So the only known problems with this thing so far is, um, yesterday... When we were driving it, there was a rattling on that left joystick whenever you'd use that one. There was something under the seat that would rattle um, pretty loud. But um, I just pressure washed it, took the seat out, pressure washed down there. There was nothing but trash and gunk in there. Pulled a bunch of it out yesterday in the yard. Um, and I just drove it around a good bit, drove down the driveway and everything. And I didn't hear any rattling, so I'm not sure if it was just something sitting in there. Um like a bolt maybe or something i'm not sure but it stopped rattling for now i'm still gonna look into that take seed back out look down in there see what i can find um this cylinder right here is leaking you can see it's leaking right there um this is the puddle it, no it didn't 
it like yeah it leaked this yesterday um pretty good puddle hydraulic fluid um so we're gonna get that cylinder repacked um just i'm gonna take it off sometime take it to machine shop they're gonna repack it and it shouldn't leak anymore and then he said one of these wheel seals somewhere he thought was leaking a little bit he says it's had a constant leak for a long time but it's been one of the wheels but he said it's really slow just put some fluid in it now and again but i don't i'm not sure where it's leaking maybe he can tell me um like i said i don't know and then the last thing is um the tilt so this is an older skid letter. it's got the foot pedals a lot of the newer ones um have joysticks for this but they have the foot pedals for the whole boom of it so it goes up and down fine but the tilt this little box right here you can see right there you have to push up on the one side of it and then the tilt will work so it's a loose connection so i took that little box part all the pins look good and all the wires look good in that bottom part so i'm not sure if it's in this top half right there where the pins go into or what um so i think we're gonna have to figure that out i don't know if um we can we, we're gonna have to figure that out maybe it's box i don't know i don't know anything about that stuff we'll look into that um so stuff we need to order for it i mean we need to fix that and that but uh we're gonna order a new seat for it. that seat's pretty eaten up it's been sad in a lot so we're just gonna order a new seat that's not a big deal and then probably one of these plates so a lot of the newer skid letters they have two little chunks and then this is all open that pick them up i like how this one has the whole bar it, i think it's better but i don't know as you can see but from the poop over the years and everything the newer it's got some holes rusted in it and uh these latches are worn out gotta have wire to hold them up in lock position which it's really not a big deal i don't think we're gonna be putting too heavy loads on it so uh we'll order one of those fix that at some point but it's really not a big deal right now um so i'll get in here in a minute show you start it up and everything um but yeah this is the outside of it 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 looks a whole lot better now um like i said it's pretty dirty wasn't sure how i was gonna clean up like i said i'm obviously not the best pressure washer in the world i miss a lot of stuff but whatever um just mainly getting the manure off but we'll start it up I'll show you what it can do, and then I'll show you the implements we got with it here in a minute. All right, so I'm sitting in here now. So this um, roof opens up. You just undo these two latches, and then the whole roof swings back. So being a diesel, it's got glow plugs. They work. Just got heated up. I just had to start a couple minutes ago, so when I start it, not going to have to glow plug it. Um, fuel gauge does work. So it's got about three-quarters of a tank. There's the hour meter. That's his nine. I don't know. I think it's eight, but whatever. Um, the lights. So the one here on the front works. There's it. One of them works. Oh, I gotta turn the key on. There you go. That one works. And then the one on the back works right there. Um, it's pretty nice in here. So turn the lights off. So as far as the seat belt, seat belt in here is this right here. Um, it's still got the seat belt and everything, but Kirk didn't like the seat belt. It was annoying, and I gotta admit, it's annoying too. So, of course, if you have it off, you got your seat belt light on. You gotta turn, put it on, and it goes off. Um, so those two lights come on till you give it some throttle and start it, and then they go off. Um, basically, this thing to shut it off, or to start it, you throttle it up, and then you turn the key, and it'll start, and then to shut it off, you just push the throttle all the way back, and then. I got to keep remembering to turn the key off because turning the key off doesn't shut it off. It doesn't need the power to shut it off. So I'll, I'll start it up and uh, let y'all see. Right now, because I'm in the shop, I'll pull it out and show y'all here in a little bit. 
it shuts off and then turn the key off that's good to go so i'll um i'll let this boom there i slow down um so i'll set up the camera here and i'll pull this out and i'll show y'all me driving it around a little bit show you how high it can go and everything and uh yeah So I was just showing y'all how the directions and everything works. It drives good. I'm sure you could see how high it went. I tilted it and everything. So um, we haven't really used it yet. Uh, like I said, it's it's a good skid loader. Um, just walked out to the driveway. So here's the line of implements we got. So I'll start back here. So the first thing, these pallet forks. So um, there's a... Um, well there's lots of places around here that do custom welding they took them this stuff told them to weld them up some pallet forks so these are some custom homemade pallet forks but they do the job he said they've moved bales with them and everything then as you can see there it's got a slot for a bale spear um that's on dad's truck and he took that to work so i can't show you that but it's a pretty long bale spear probably comes out to about here so that's gonna be awesome if we ever need to move heavy pallets um and unloading bales off the trailer because right now we just have to roll them off here since we don't have anything with a loader so that's gonna be pretty sweet to have so the next thing is this manure bucket so the bottom ain't too good on this and these forks here are a little loose i think it's missing one there and one here well no it's not missing one there's just missing one here so um i'm sure we can get one for there and then um my mom's cousin well elwood y'all know him he's been in plenty of videos uh he his job is welding he's a welder um he does that a lot. So he said he can weld up some here. Not sure, just lay a plate across the bottom or what, but he's gonna weld this thing up, beef it up. It's gonna be really sweet for scooping those old hay piles out of the hay field over there. You can see one of them and put them in the manure spreader. So that's gonna be pretty sweet. Next thing is the bucket. It's this bucket, uh, same, same kind of deal. It's got some pieces laid in here. Um, we're gonna cut those out. And then Elwood has an old bucket that he's getting rid of. We're just gonna cut the bottom out and make a whole bottom here, uh, one solid one. It's just a little hole here. I mean, it'll still work, but. Um, so then that's gonna be all beefed up. We'll be able to scoop stuff out of the barn, that and rocks, snow, or whatever. And then the last thing here's their tire scraper. This is what they use to um, clean out the barns. As you can tell, it's got a decent amount of wear on it. So the only thing we're really going to use this for is um, pushing snow, probably. He said it does go with not messing up the gravel and just going along top of it. Um, so that's pretty sweet. This is what was on when we loaded it, you saw. Um, so we didn't necessarily need it, but um, he said he wanted it all to go. He wanted all of these implements to go with it. So... Um, with buying the skid loader, we got four implements, pretty much the only four we should need, really. I mean, there's other things you can do, but that skid loader doesn't have hydraulic hookups, and I don't know if it's big enough to handle big grapple buckets or nothing, but this is all we need. This is awesome. We're going to have it. Um, we're going to be able to get a lot done with this stuff, and uh, it's really going to help us out around here. Having the skid loader and all these implements, it's going to be a lot more efficient to get stuff done just going to be overall nice to have all right so i'm sure everyone's wondering how much we paid for all this well i personally didn't pay any. my parents bought it but um fifteen hundred dollars got this skid loader and all the implements so that's a heck of a deal really good it's got a few minor problems that's all easy stuff to fix shouldn't cost too much money i think these things are like 200 and 
not sure how much that is probably not more than 100 seats probably like 50 um but yeah for all that stuff in this fifteen hundred dollars so heck of a deal didn't think we were gonna come across anything else like this i mean we weren't necessarily in the market for a skid loader but he wanted to sell it i wanted it and then dad wanted it so um yep talked to him and picked it up so we'll see what all we can get in to do with this thing over the next uh well i guess we'll have it for a long time but i'm sure we'll get a lot done with it and like i said it's gonna be really nice to have all right well i know i've rambled on for a long time about this thing now i've shown you all everything about it um i just want to say another thanks to kirk thank you kirk for this skid loader and uh selling it to us it's gonna be awesome i really appreciate it um but thanks to everyone else for watching and um if you know anything about these things, ever had one, I know a lot of people had these growing up, older people. If you all ever, um, if you have any suggestions or anything you want me to know about it, let me know. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.